Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm testing out the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and I heard about this all over YouTube last year and I actually purchased it when I went to London last year and I went to Harrods and that was the only place in the UK where you could purchase this. And when I purchased this from Harrods last year she did colour match me to the shade 27 Bisque Neutral so hopefully this is going to be the same shade as I am now. At that time I was self tanned and at the moment I am self tanned as well so hopefully it's going to be the perfect shade for me. Now I did notice that when I was doing some research on this that this this shade that she matched me to is known as a fair colour with a yellow undertone and I actually opened this earlier on today just to look at the colour and this is nowhere near a fair colour. So this foundation retails for £37 in the UK and $55 in the US so it is quite an expensive foundation and I'm hoping that it's going to work really well. There are loads of different claims to it and it also says that it's suitable for all skin types as well so if you are dry and normal they do ask that you mix it with a primer and if you are oily this is supposed to be the perfect foundation for you as well and because I do have a very oily t-zone i'm hoping this is going to hold up throughout the whole day because there's only one foundation i've managed to find that lasts the whole day and doesn't look oily on me and that's the estee lauder double wear so i'm actually going to be putting this to the test and comparing it to the double wear foundation as well there are 22 different shades in the collection and they start from very light to very deep they start from ivory all the way down to cocoa deep so no matter what skin tone you're going to have i believe you'll be able to find a shade that matches you they do also have different undertones as well so they have cool neutral and also warm undertones so it's going to be able to suit a lot of different people as well well. On the back it says instant results all day weightless finish beyond full coverage and on the website it says 24 hour full flawless coverage which is yours in an instant ultra lightweight foundation concentrate oil free formula and has twice as much pigment as a leading full coverage foundation. So hopefully this is going to cover up all of my blemishes all of my redness because I have a lot at the moment all over my forehead and all over my chin so hopefully it's going to do its job and it's going to cover all of those really well and hopefully it's not going to make me oily throughout the day because it does say it's an oil free formula and my skin gets very very oily throughout the day. I've primed my skin using my two favourite primers, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I use these every single day when I do my foundation so I feel like it's the best thing for me to use because as I do use these every day I'm going to be able to see how this foundation holds up with these two primers. So in the box with the foundation you also get a leaflet that tells you all about the foundation, also tells you how to apply it and things like that. Now I did open this box earlier on today and it did slip out, I don't know where it's gone but I'm just going to look on the website and see what's the best way to apply this foundation foundation. So the shade that I have is 27 Bisque Neutral and as you can see it looks like it's going to match me quite well. It does look a little bit light in the packaging but this is a frosted glass packaging and I think this looks so nice and sleek. It just looks so gorgeous so I'm obsessed with the packaging of this. Also when you take the lid off you have a little dropper thing in here that you just twist and then you have the dropper thing right there. So it says on the website for best results apply three to four dots and blend with the face buffing brush and I don't have a Marc Jacobs buffing brush so I have the next best thing which is a Sigma Flat Cabo F80. So I'm going to apply this on half of my face and then if that doesn't work out I'm going to use my beauty blender just to buff this into the other side. So I'm just going to apply four drops over my face. It does say for best results to get three to four drops. So I'm just going to pop one here, one here, one on my chin and then one on my forehead as well. So that doesn't actually look like that's a lot of foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my buffing brush and we're just gonna see how this buffs out. It does say that it has a lot of pigment in there so hopefully you only need a tiny amount and it's gonna give me full coverage. And it doesn't give me a full coverage foundation look. Now it has given me medium coverage. It also looks a little bit patchy as well. So I'm going to have to apply a couple more drops on my face because I don't feel like that's covered up a lot. So I'm just going to do one on there and then one on there. Oh my god. Literally a little goes a very long way with this foundation. You only need a tiny amount. That is incredible. Get around the redness on my nose and then on my forehead as well. That coverage is literally incredible. That was five drops of the foundation and that has covered up nearly all of my redness. That is incredible. I only have a tiny bit of redness underneath my nose and only a little bit on my cheek but that has done so well. I just have, like I said, a little bit of redness here and underneath my nose and a little bit on my chin but that is basically full coverage. So the colour does look a little bit too light at the moment in this lighting. 
but it might be because of all the lights in here and when I go out in the normal daytime sometimes it can look a little bit different. I'm just going to apply a little tiny bit to the underneath my nose and on my chin as well, a little bit on my cheek and we're just going to see how this builds up on no specific areas. That is amazing. This foundation builds up so well, but I do feel like I'm going to need to go in with my beauty blender just to even out the coverage because I do feel like it looks a little bit weird with a brush. I don't really like using brushes for foundation, but as you can see, this is amazing. This is with absolutely none of the foundation on my skin. I have loads of blemishes, loads of redness, and then this is with the foundation on. So I am obsessed with this foundation and I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my face and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. So this is what the foundation looks like and honestly I feel like this looks flawless. I have no redness on my skin, you can't see my blemishes, literally my skin looks perfect. It looks amazing, it doesn't look cakey either, it just looks really nice. I mean you can tell that I am wearing foundation obviously because it is a full coverage foundation. You don't need a lot of this foundation as well because a little goes a very long way. And it seems like a semi matte finish, it's not fully matte. But it's not satin either. It just looks really nice, I do feel like the colour looks a little bit different to my neck, it is a little bit too light but it might look a little bit different when I'm in normal light. So when I did do the other side of my face I did use my Sigma F80 and then I just had to pat on my Beauty Blender just to make sure that it all looks a little bit more put together because when I do use a brush I feel like it looks a little bit streaky but it covered up amazingly, you only need a tiny amount and... I am obsessed with this foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. So I've just finished off my makeup and it's now 20 past 10 in the morning and I have to say that I absolutely love this foundation. It looks so flawless from up close, from far away as well. The colour match is almost there, it is just a little bit too light for me. I think I need to go up a shade because it does look a little bit too light so I would need to get a little darker shade. But honestly this looks so nice and flawless on the skin. It's covered up all of my blemishes, all of my redness. The rest of my makeup products just went on so smoothly and it just went on amazingly. Also it does build up really well as well. I did notice that I had a little bit on my nose right here where it wasn't fully covered up. So I just put on a little bit more of the foundation and it covered it up incredibly. Honestly you only need a tiny amount of this foundation, it does cover up incredibly. And when I did put a little bit on this side of my nose I put a tiny tiny dot on there, it wasn't even a full dot at all. And it pretty much went all over my nose so I managed to cover up my nose a little bit more just from one tiny little dot which is incredible. But I do feel like I would recommend using a beauty blender instead of using a makeup brush because I feel like whenever I use a makeup brush I do get streaks on my foundation and it doesn't cover up as well as I would hope it would so I think I will try it out again with a beauty blender just to see how it looks but so far I'm impressed with this foundation it looks gorgeous on the skin it looks so flawless and I'm a little bit obsessed with this foundation so I'm gonna go to work and when I come back in a few hours I'll give you my final first impression review you'll be able to see how it holds up during a normal eight hour work day and you'll be able to see if it's good if it's bad and I'll let you know how I feel about it so I'll be back in a few hours and I'll see you in a bit guys bye hi guys so I'm back and it's now 20 past 7 in the evening so I've had this foundation on for nine hours now and I feel like now is the best time for me to give you my final first impression so looking at my skin it looks really flawless from far away but up close you can see some red patches and it has come off on a couple of sections of my face so it's come off on my chin down the sides of my nose also down the front of my nose and it's very oily on my forehead so when I applied this foundation this morning all I did was put some powder on all the sections where I got oily so I put it on my forehead my nose and also my chin in. and to be honest for nine hours I think it's held up really well and it does accentuate my pores as well but I'm not really too bothered about that because I could just put on a pore filling primer but for nine hours I feel like this looks really good if I was going out I would just put a little bit more of the foundation on because it does build up really well and I feel like putting a little bit of foundation on the top of it would just make it look really nice and I would happily go out like this so I do like the way that it looks I do feel like it has come off on a couple of different areas 
of a like I would need to block during the day because like I said I haven't done anything since I put this foundation on all I did was powdered this morning and then I haven't done anything else throughout the rest of the day so I also feel like that the color match looks a lot better now now it has oxidized so it does look a little bit darker than it was when I first put it on but I do feel like it matches me a lot better so I am really happy that I did get this shade because I feel like if I did get a shade darker then after it oxidized it would look really dark but I do like it I think it looks pretty nice as well obviously you can see down the sides of my nose I do have some redness right here and that's because I do wear glasses when I'm at work so for eight hours of the day I'm wearing glasses and they're rubbing on these sections and I can't do anything about it but yeah I do like the foundation I feel like it could have held up a little bit better as been as it is meant to be a 24 hour foundation and it is meant to last for 24 hours but other than that I feel like it looks good for nine hours and to be honest just looking at my skin I can see that I'm only oily on my forehead and down the sides of my nose usually I'm oily all over my face so I'm not really too bothered I feel like it's done really well on the oil control as well so that's really good but I do feel like now is the time that I'd need to powder and blot because I look very very oily on my forehead and this is not a very good look at all. So now I'm going to look at the claims and the first one is that it says it's 24 hour wear. Now I don't think it would last 24 hours especially on my skin type because I do have oily combination skin and it has been on for 9 hours now and I feel like it does look really good but I don't feel like it would last the whole day. I would need to blot, I'd also need to powder as well. I'd probably need to touch up with a little bit more foundation. But if you do have normal skin I feel like it would last you 24 hours easily and for my skin type I just don't feel like it would last that long on me and it says flawless full coverage and I definitely think that it did give me full coverage and it did look really nice and flawless on the skin when I first applied it I used my Sigma F80 flat kabuki and then I went in with my beauty blender and I just patted it over the skin just to make sure that it looks a bit more flawless and it's just evened out a little bit more I didn't put any more foundation on the beauty blender I just patted it into my skin just to make it look a little bit nicer and a good thing about this foundation is a little goes a very long way I noticed that when I put it on the skin I didn't need as many dots as I did put on the skin to get full coverage so it does say on the website to do three or four dots and put that over the face and you do get a really nice coverage but I don't think three or four dots worked on my skin I did try two dots on this side and I don't feel like it gave me much coverage at all it didn't cover the whole of this side but I do think if you use around six or seven dots over the face you'd get a really gorgeous flawless coverage and I feel like it would last a very long time because you do only need a tiny amount of it so overall I really like this foundation it's not as good as my Estee Lauder double wear but that's my holy grail and that's the only foundation I have which doesn't make me oily throughout the day but for nine hours I feel like it's held up incredibly I do have a very oily tea zone and not many foundations can hold up against my oils and like I said I haven't blotted I haven't added any excess powder throughout the day and this is how good it's gone so I really like it I am gonna have to test it out a couple more times just to see how I like it to be applied if it's better with a brush or with a sponge and when I applied all of my other makeup it went on really nice and smoothly so I like that as well also I really like the color match as well I think it's a perfect color for me it's not orange it's not pink it's not too yellow as well it just matches me really well with my self tan now do beware that it will oxidize throughout the day so make sure that you don't get a color that's too dark for you because it will look too dark throughout the rest of the day but I definitely recommend it I think it's a really good foundation and like I said I'm gonna have to test it out a couple more times just to see if I can make it work a little bit better but so far this was a really good first impression and I am impressed with it so that's my final first impression of the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation if you've tried out this foundation if you like it or if you don't just comment down below to let me know and make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!